Hello, you are watching The Garden Corner Show. We are crazy passionate about almost everything gardening because we, I say almost because we don't know everything there is to know about gardening. As a matter of fact, we're talking about starting seeds indoors and I don't know enough. I feel like I'm just not confident enough to, to, to lead the troop of fans that we have through this process. So I've asked our grower, and, and this guy, by the way, knows his stuff. He is top-notch grower, just the best looking plants that, that you can find anywhere. I'm talking about Mr. Aaron Bivens, and he, I've asked him, drop of the hat, come on over, can you, can you walk me through starting seeds in the beginning, uh, uh, indoors? So, Mr. Aaron, um, let's talk about let's talk about starting seeds and um, what to choose. I guess right now we're talking middle of February, right? Okay, middle of February. Okay, so we're going to talk about planting cold crops at this point. So that's going to be your uh, broccolis, cauliflower, lettuce, um, cabbage, kale, stuff like that. So um, John has picked up these little jiffy. Uh, Peat pots over at Home Depot. <laughs> yeah, well, it's okay to shop at Home Depot for those kinds of things too, by the way. So we're going to talk about direct sowing seeds into these. So the first thing you want to do is get some potting soil. Just normal potting soil will work fine. So potting soil versus the seed starter mix. For these are, you know, two inch, two and a half inch pots. So a little bit more air porosity in there. Regular potting soil will work fine. You could also buy the seed starting mix if you'd like. It, it's not really that important. Okay. It's just about keeping the water level or the moisture level right for the for the plant, right? Correct. Okay. Correct. So we've got some prepared here, but I'm going to go ahead and do a demonstration on how to prepare them. You're going to go ahead and just fill them up with soil. And you want to just fill them loosely. You don't want to compact the soil in there. So you just kind of ah. spread it across loose. Nice and even, and then you can just kind of tamp it down naturally. And if you need to add a little more, you can do that. But you don't want to press it in there because you're going to push that the pore space out of the soil, and then you won't have the air for the roots to grow and whatnot. So, ah, so roots roots need some air. So okay. you may want to prep your trays maybe the day before you're going to plant. And then you want to water them nice and thoroughly. This way, you won't have to water the seeds once they're planted, and you won't wash them out. So there'll ah. be sufficient moisture in there for you to get your germination. Yeah, that's a good point or anything. So water it first before you even put a seed in it. Okay. Like I said, you can do it a couple hours before you plant. You can do it the day before. That way, it, you know, it gets uh, drained properly and, and it's all ready for you to go. Okay. So we've got some prepped over here. I'm going to go ahead and do some um, masculine salad mix. This is mostly different lettuces and whatnot. So these are a nice um, plastic um, bags, and that's just to try to keep the moisture off the seeds, because if you have extra moisture, or extra seeds, you don't want to have a bunch of moisture in there. You can get some premature germination in the package, whatnot, and you won't, um, you won't have viable seeds for the future if you want to do it again. You, what you want to do is you want to use your thumb. Just make a little divot. You don't want to make a big hole for these. You just want a little pit for them to set in. So it's just a little bit of divot in there, and you're going to take and you're going to put three, four seeds in there. You're just kind of spreading it in there. Oops, I got a few extras, and that's fine if you get a few extras. You can always buy more seed. <laughs> Seeds cheap, and it's fun. Now, what would you say uh, on on a seed? If you were to tackle this project, how would you compare it to? Would you compare it to like? Having a pet dog or a pet cat or a hamster or, or, or raising goldfish, what, what would be the, the time, time factor for someone? Time factor, um, it's like having a goldfish. Goldfish, it's not, okay. It's not nearly at the, the level of a dog or a cat or a, okay. or a hamster. It just takes a little bit of time each day, a little bit of you know tender love and care, and you're good to go. Okay. So you're going to reseal that up. I push the air out of it, and I seal it good. A good place to store your seeds 
would be in your refrigerator. You like to keep them cool and you like to keep some high relative humidity on them. Uh, that way they stay viable. So if you have extra, you can keep them over here and you can use them next year again. So now that we've got the seeds planted, we want to cover them just a little bit. Basically, you want to cover a seed one and a half to two times its diameter. And these are very small seeds. Yeah, these mainly are tiny, we're, tiny guys. Mainly, we're just covering them to maintain some moisture and humidity around the soil or around the seed itself. I think John has a phone call. <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> so I'm just kind of spreading just a little bit over the seed itself. And I'm just pressing it down just a little bit on there so that I'm getting some contact with that soil on the seed. And that's essentially going to keep your moisture level around the seed um, consistent for germination. Now, once we cover the seeds and we've got it wet and we, and we divot it down, put the seeds in there, how do we water this? How would you recommend to water it? Well, the first thing I would do is probably, because now they're covered up, you don't know what it is. So I'd probably get a little... Um, little stick or a popsicle stick or something right on what you find in there. Mark it, maybe each row could be something different. So then you know what it is. And then you don't want to go and water this heavy because you're going to wash those seeds all around in there. They're very little and um, okay. they're not anchored to anything. So <laughs> okay. I would get a small misting bottle, fill it with just regular water, and I would just mist it heavily until the, that new soil oh, yeah. is, is, is moist as well. And then you should have plenty of moisture in that soil um, for germination and, and beginning growth. Um, you'll want to watch that because the seed is only at the very top of that soil. So it doesn't matter if you have moisture at the bottom if you don't have moisture at the top for germination. So you may have to mist it once or twice a day depending on your conditions. So once or twice a day. And then now we put this cover over the top of it. That keeps that humidity in there, right? Yes. And then we want to put this in a, by a sunny window. It doesn't matter. Well, for, for initial germination, the first day or two of actual germination, the plants aren't perceiving any light. So it's not as big a deal. We're okay. more concerned about this good temperature. Okay. Um, if you can keep that soil temperature 60 to 65 degrees, you're gonna be better off. Okay. So this dome is gonna help hold heat in, okay. as well as humidity. Now, obviously, if you get some solar input in there, you get some sunlight coming in through a window, you're going to build a little bit more heat, which is going to help your germination be a little more consistent. So I would try to put it by a bright window. Um, now, so once you put it, you put it by a bright window. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to see some results. When when can I see the seeds going? When can I see some re, some some activity? Well, for general rule, your cold crops, um, a lot of your vegetables are pretty easy to germinate and don't take a whole lot of time yeah. to germinate. Okay. So you're going to look, in ideal conditions, two, three days, you should start seeing something pop. Two, through. three days. Okay. You know, in maybe in your home, you could look at maybe a four, five, six days. If you're not seeing anything in a week, um, you're probably too cold, maybe <laughs> it's too wet, it didn't work out. It'd be take time. two after a week. Okay. So, cold crops are safe to put out. They can take 35 degrees, 40 degrees, but you don't want them in a, in a hard frost. But you also don't want to take well, them out of the Yeah, yeah they're essentially a hard freeze will, will kill them or turn them mushy. But you don't want to take them from a 70 degree home and put them straight out in 35 degrees either. Woohoo! They need to be acclimated or toned <laughs> okay. off to that. So one way to do that would be to move them outside on your porch to once they're growing once they're established they've got some leaves on so them we're thinking plants. um so higher roughly yeah not all depends on the plant yeah. of course yeah go so ahead it's looking like a healthy plant versus a little seedling you can put it out on your porch um in a protected area during the day if it's a nice day if it's going to be real cold at night you could set it inside or you could cover it up and put a blanket over it for the evening okay but you're just kind of starting to acclimate get it used to those temperatures outside for a week or two weeks or um, four four days to a week okay. is about all you need really. Um, and then from then, once it's acclimated, then we can start planting them in the garden. Then we can okay. start planting. This is the cold crop vegetables. Only for really cooler weather, we're going to um, hit the next wave of vegetables in 
Uh, what did you say? Middle of March? Well, we're going to want to start sowing them in April to mid-April so okay. that we can plant them in early May to mid-May. Okay, so we'll, we'll, the next wave of planting will be mid-April, you say? Yes. Okay, that's the show for today. I hope that is helpful. Here is the quote of the day. I have seen the future, and it's like the present, only longer. Thank you, Dan Quisenberry. That's the show today. You going to do it with me today? <laughs> He's gone. What are we Not doing? I'm really sure what to do. Live your passion. You see me right out of the sunset on the color TV screen.